Welcome back, Hermit fans. Okay, carrying on. So, we've got a server here, kind of a private server. And it should be on a fresh wipe, so we should be ready to crash land. And, uh, get going. Okay, so we choose our starting planet. Um, looks like... First thing we want to do is grab our measly water from the escape pod. Unfortunately, you know, to be honest, the series will probably be either a short-lived series or we'll just keep, you'll restart with me when we have to. Straighten 
north should be the lake.
Oh, got it. I see it now. Okay, so I've done a lot of dinking around and I haven't figured out how to pick this up yet. Because it seriously used to just be hold shift and press F. And it looks like the it's broken. Like it wants to tell us what to do, but all it says is something plus F. And we have no idea. Busting up trees and rocks for hours on end. So, I'm going to do a bunch of uh, farming things here. Stuff built up and we'll uh, after a little while. Or we can maybe get started on a bike or a base or something like that. So, we'll see in a bit. Alright, so here's the deal. We've been been out adventuring for a long time. We've struggled with food, we've died, uh, we got attacked by spiders, which chased us for miles and miles and miles until we came across an armory. It looked like a cool building off in the distance until it started firing rockets at us. Um, we were stalked by a minigun drone for a while. Good on food, something comes up. Last instance, I was doing good on food, and that's when the spiders started chasing me. I had a hangover from drinking too many energy drinks, so I could gain no stamina. So I couldn't fight the spiders, I just ran and ran and ran until I got shot. And then I retrieved my body, got shot again, retrieved my stuff and got out of there. And killed the one spider that was still stalking me. Should I get any meat off him? I don't think I did. I think I only got meat So, we're going to keep working our way that direction. Oh, and we abandoned our portable uh, constructor because
because I could not pick it up. I don't know if it's a bug. I'm going to try to rebuild the files of the game next time I close it. Something's going on that will not allow me to press Control F and pick it up. So, I abandon it. I've got the materials to make a new one. So once I find a good spot to call home, throw down that and start working. I mean, the biggest thing has been iron. I have got my iron. 17 iron ore is all I have. And honestly, three of those came from turning cru um, crushed stone into iron because I knew I needed that to make my purple constructor. So, onward and upward. We'll see you later.
travels here it's been really scarce and now I'm finding I'm like crazy here which is good it's one of the best basic um, so I've got five there plus I've got another two there I need a couple to keep my health up so you know if we build a base here there's some near which obviously we get, we get farms up and going that does take a little time to it's kind of a whole process and order of things you gotta build to get to that point. There's a lot of stuff I don't even need, but I grab it because it gives you a little experience. The worst case scenario is bad. Plus, hopefully my volume is better in between. Pause in the last recording. I got to thinking, you know, I 
bet you're getting blown out by the great at doing that. Every time I start a series, I forget to really tone the volume of the game down and it drowns me out. But it is what it is. video I can see how unbalanced it is. Looks like this thing's done attacking me unless I attack yeah, you see that it's uh on here. And the reason I like a water source well again I like to be by a water source in any game, survival games. Um, with this one, you have a water generator you put out in the water. It's what creates your water, um, which is pretty vital farming-wise because it's how you manufacture your ingredients for the farms. I always grab these things. As soon as I have two of them, I make an energy drink because the actual stimulant does not last long. It's got a short perish time. Once you make it into one of those canned energy drinks, it's good forever, so. There's a nice semi-flat spot near the water here. Kind of like that. Silicon ore, we got 103. Iron, oh, we're so struggling on the iron. Um, so in our factory, oh, I thought we put something over here. Uh, base. I'd love to do that, but um, the requirements are pretty high. Stone, I'm not worried about. That would be easy to get. The silicon, we're not probably too far off at iron. We're a million miles away from this. I think is going to be our starter base. Let's move it to the factory. Um, where are we at? We've got some stone dust we can throw in there. Wood planks, we'll have to use our constructor to make. Getting there. Do I have anything that's going to expire soon? I don't want to waste any food, so if it's getting getting close to done. All right. So we got our constructor, portable constructor. Let's get it down here. I want to kind of go off to the side. Still doesn't let me pick it up. I, just, I don't know what the deal is with that. But okay. So let's go ahead and plop all our ores in there, our wood in there. Um, I think that's about all we need to put in there for our manufacturing purposes. We're going to need some of this stone dust. I don't know how far off we are. We're going to need iron ingots. Let's, oh shoot. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's 
go back here and see exactly what we need. Okay, so we're still 20. We need another three shots of the stone dust. We need 89 wood planks. 14 iron ingots. Oh, I don't know if we're going to quite make it there yet. Okay, so one, two, three. Wood planks. One log gets us four. So that's. I already don't remember how many we need. I think it was up in the 200s. So if we go. That'll give us 300. That'll be a pretty damn good start. Um, what do we got? We got 14 iron ore, so we need another one iron ore, I think, to get what we need. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so let's go back into our factory. Let's drop that. Boom, we got enough stone dust. We know we're short. Oh, we only need 89 of those. We're going to have so many extra wood planks. Oh, well. They'll get used, I promise. I think we're going to be plenty good on silicone and copper ingots. It's the iron. That danged iron. So we're going to be off hunting for that, but I kind of want to wait for daylight. Let's eat some... Eat some spice health up a bit here. Got four more there, so let's actually go ahead and eat the last one. And then drop our new stack down there. We can probably actually eat these two buds. Drop this fresh stack down here. I got a couple energy bars I've been making out of the vegetables because they're another thing that has a pretty short perish time on its own. But once you make it two vegetables, you can make into the plant protein and then into the um, energy bar, which lasts I think it was like 110 or 120 minutes. So, you know, you get almost two hours life out of that. So bad to remember this. What I should do is I should write all this down. Alright, so those will all just go into our production. So what are that? What copper? I only need 22, so I'm gonna have more than enough copper. Silicon 46. So I need to basically make 50. Oh wait, I do have enough iron ingots, because what did I need? 14? I'm good. Alright, I think we're going to do this. Silicon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I decided we needed. split this because I want to keep these are so valuable I'm going to hold on to them um, and what is this copper I only need 22 there we've met that requirement so I'm going to put these back in there I'm going to take this some more spoiled food I'm trying to just pile all that together because we can use the spoiled food that will serve a purpose. I'm gonna do a lot in there. Dummy. Blueprint factory. Bam! Look at this. We're gonna make our first base. Oh yes. Home sweet home. Here we come. In six and a half minutes. And it's little, but it'll get us there. And there's all kinds of these. Like there's cool prefabs. 
and they're kind of nice actually to start off with and then just build upon. That's what I did in my first base, and this is, you know, I started on this server, I'd played just a teeny tiny amount of single player, and then I jumped on Archer's server and played that for a little while. I pumped a lot of hours in the first couple days. I had built a pretty nice base, started with a prefab one that's not even here. I'm not sure why it's not here. I don't know if it's because I started on a different planet and the prefabs are different, but it was kind of a, a wood looking one. And I started with that, but then I added on, I put a landing pad because I built my first little, uh, uh, what are they called, small vessels to fly around, made it way easier to get around the world. And we'll get there. Um, but then I added a whole another big addition on that I had started a, a big garden room. And I had a whole another room I didn't even know what I was going to do with yet, but, you know, I was going to do something. My only fear with this first prefab is there is no turret. Um, and see, here's the these ones that require growing pots. They're hard to do right off the bat because um, you basically need the uh, large constructor. I forget what materials you needed, but you needed that to make something to even get there. Um, so hopefully this first one, like it doesn't tell me, you know, it says that there's 12 devices. I don't know what I hope one of them is one of those large constructors because that's what we're going to need to make a lot of our stuff. Um, so yeah, in four minutes we're going to have our base. This marketplace. Oh, this must be... Oh, you can add a trading station. You can create an offer. Well, we're not too far away, so at some point we'll have to do that. That's kind of cool. Because we do have a few other people on our server. Right now, we're the only ones on. But we do have Archer is on here. And I'm going to be honest, I don't remember what the other guy's name was. Um, but we'll get there. Oh, we can make a motorbike construction kit now. That I think we're probably going to do. Because uh, a mini bike makes for a good, a good starter vehicle. It's not perfect by any means, but the only thing is I want to I want to figure out that picking up thing before I do that because uh, it'll be a disaster if I make one and can't pick it up because in five minutes it disappears. So, all right, I'm going to pause the recording and in about four minutes we're going to come back. All right, blueprint production successfully completed. Let's reorient ourselves. I was kind of taking down some rocks and stuff. I was glancing at the tech tree. I don't think we've looked at it at all so far in our recording, which is going to be something good to look at. Um, the nice thing is, is when you build from a blueprint, you don't actually have to have the tech skill for whatever reason. I'm not sure why it kind of bypasses it. Really, it's kind of nice because... You know, otherwise it'd be a little harder to get there. So let's just glance at it quick. Oh, there's a shortcut to it, but I can't remember it. We're up to level 7, so we've gained a lot of points. You start off, I think you get like 10 points. Or, you know, you, do, you get very little, and then as you go up, you get more points each level. And you have to be certain levels to get to certain things here. Um, some of them you just start off with. You don't have to buy. Your level 3 ones you do. You know, if we'd want a generator, we got to spend four points. I can tell you, my turrets, that's, that's something we are for certain going to research. But something I most certainly want are, these are the small solar panels. We can already make them. These are the large ones. It's going to cost us five points. We're going to do it. Because we've got to be able to power our base. Like, I kind of build ridiculously large solar arrays. Okay, so we're going to build right up here. We need to go to Blueprints Factory
Oh, here it is completed. What do I gotta do? Spawn. Where's my. I don't wanna put it on top of that thing. I don't know if I can or not. Mm. I'm gonna rotate this thing. back I don't know we'll put it like this this looks like the door is right there so not too shabby that's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be so our backs kind of in the ground in the hill but that's okay because Yeah, so, alright, let's let's go check out oh I don't like that. Maybe I should build a little bit further down. Alright, so we've got a core, which you gotta have, a solar capacitor, which is in here. We've got a cargo box. So we do not have the large constructor. So let's hope we can build that. build it I'm, I assume it would be from here um, devices large constructor we can do it we're gonna do it because we really need it the unfortunate thing is is I think we probably burned up the last of our iron ore right there making all the parts Spoiling. Okay, so that's probably gonna take a little bit. And the one, the other thing I love about this game is you need all these parts to build this. In some games, you literally would have to build each part and keep track of it. It's a pain in the arse. And granted, it's more realistic, whatever. But this here, if you want to build this, and you can see the green ones say I already have it the yellow ones I mean I have the parts the stuff to make it so if you click it it's gonna automatically make all the smaller parts to make your main device um, so the water generator is another thing we're gonna need we already have that Okay, so I came in here just to check out how much power I've got in my base because my doors are working, so I know it must be okay. My battery is 100%, so it must have started off that way. Um, current output, 8 kilowatts. It's nighttime. I'm not even sure how we're gaining that, but we are. We're consuming 9. So, pretty good. So during the day, we should have no problem keeping up. Here you can see the average outputs 34 kilowatts um, when we use our constructor once that's built obviously that's going to go much faster it sucks a lot of power when you're using it box probably end up putting an ammo box next to it just for ease maybe put the constructor over here maybe where is it Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Well, I'm going to work on that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify files. Oh, there it is. What the heck? That's not something I can move, so... I guess, for right now, it's there.